Alrighty guys, I have an all-around update for you guys here. Uh, been doing a little bit of work on the old Dodge here. I finally got the uh, proper belt for the air conditioning and smog pump. And I have unseized the smog, smog pump so it does turn again. Um, so, it's since this is the back belt, I had to pull the power steering belt and the uh, alternator assessor belt and fan belt and water pump belt. But that wasn't as bad as I thought it would have been. So I've done that. I've also pulled the cowling off up here. I have it on the side and down in there. There's, well, actually up here more. There's rods up in there. And there's uh, nylon bushings, and a lot of those nylon bushings were failing. Uh, let's see if I have, here we go. That's what's left of one of them. So when I was driving down the highway, um, Last week, Wednesday, during a rainstorm, I was using my windshield wipers, and I pull up to a stop to a stoplight, and they stopped working. My switch is still on, and I can hear the motor humming, but nothing was happening. So I figured out the bushings were bad and the linkage, so I replaced those, and those are all working functional again. Um, and I still have to get the wiper arms put back on, or back here. But I have a little bit of an update for you guys. I got this two weeks ago. I was going to let it go to scrap, but then I saw that, and it said Sears on it, and I said, oh, the camera probably doesn't want to focus. But I said, shoot, I'll take it. It's a 25-inch Sears lawn sweeper. I also got a Bolin's 5-horse solid-state ignition electric start push mower for free with that. And it also came this. A 1965 Bolins 1000. There's a Wisconsin TR-10D engine, which is in pieces right now because I'm having issues. You can see that this is this would be the compression stroke right now, and that valve is still turning. Now I know it's the compression release is functioning right now, but the oil is so sludgy in here. I'm thinking the compression release is stuck on, so it'll only run for a little bit. And then once it heats up, the valve opens a little bit more and more and more, and then it eventually dies. But I have the hood in case that you're wondering that's what it looks like. And I also got a, I can tell these rags, a, a snowblower attachment for it. So a snowblower and mower deck I got with it. Um, yes, in case you're wondering, some of you Sears guys might recognize a seat like that. That is a Sears seat, and that's actually what was on the tractor when I got it. And then I also got, with the push mower, the bag. Get the bag there, some parts there, and I got the bag chute. And I also got three vintage gas cans. Um, that one there's a Huffy. This one here is an American or a stand can. And you got an Eagle one on top. Um, not much else new. I got the PTO cover there. And uh, going out to the shed here. Haven't been on here in quite a long time. Um, I have done. A little bit of work, and I did sell a tractor. And some of you may be wondering, well, what tractor was that? That was the 92 Noma built Craftsman all this there. I sold that, that's gone. The bones either, is either going to go here, or if I can, I'll keep one tractor in a garage, and I have a secret. A very top secret secret that I might get. But I have put the mower deck back in the 68 and you can see there's some fresh grass in there. I just mowed the backyard at this thing yesterday and it did well. Minus that still mysterious engine knock that I can't figure out. Um, the custom is still sitting back there in, in the slumber. There's no battery in that one. A battery went bad and there's no battery in the 10.6. So both of those are sitting. Green tractor still running good. Um, I got the little Sears push mower there, snapper here, the Toro here, yard machines, and then this other Toro that you guys have not not seen yet. And this was a roadside find from a friend of mine. This thing, th these quantum power engines, boy, those things are nice. This thing runs impeccably well, and 
I don't know if I really want to get rid of it, but I really don't have space. Because obviously if I want to put a tractor in here, i got to save room for chairs in the wintertime, but that's really the only space I have left for a tractor, and that push mower can't stay there. And I do have two, two push mowers in the garage I'm working on getting rid of. But that's pretty much the update from here, guys. So I'll leave you with this.